talking about one of those special games that I truly believe are amazing. That might be given away to score for the game we're reviewing today, which just happens to be Dark Souls. Let's hop into it. Dark Souls has one of the best art directions I think I've ever seen in a video game. It perfectly complements its gameplay. The style that Dark Souls chooses is a gothic European one, and it's amazing that a Japanese studio would be able to do that style oh so well. The game wishes to depict a cruel and unforgiving world, and gothic architecture kind of does that. The game is also depicting a quiet and almost empty feeling world. Although you do fight enemies, of course, there, there are definitely plenty of them. You don't really have any music playing as you go around the normal areas, with maybe a few exceptions. Usually you only have music when you're fighting a boss, and boy is that good music. The music usually is gothic choir in style, and my goodness does it work. It really conveys the epicness that the game wants to show. My particular favorites would have to be the fight between Ornstein and Smog, and also the one against Gwyn. Is Dark Souls really a hard game? No, it basically requires that you have a good deal of knowledge as to what you're doing. It's kind of like a real adventure. That is one of the most amazing things about Dark Souls, in my opinion. It feels like an actual adventure because it requires planning. And when I'm talking about planning, I mean using the guidebook. Now, people might say, oh, you use the guidebook, that's cheating. I highly disagree. I think it absolutely improves the experience. When I would play Dark Souls, I would do stuff in the game, and then I would get off. And then when I was doing my usual before I go to bed reading, I would pull out the guidebook and I would read and I would plan my next moves. It had this sort of thrill that you might have if you were in real life camping and reading a map as to where you were gonna go in the following morning. I also feel like the difficulty makes things more epic and arduous. It really makes accomplishing things feel all the more satisfying. It's a challenge, and an adventure should be a challenge. Dark Souls is the single most replayable game I have ever played. Due to the fact that the game requires so much memorization of the land and the layout, when you actually complete it, it's actually a really relaxing thing to do because you know what you're doing. In following playthroughs, you sort of just breeze through. The game's quiet and somber nature, excluding boss fights, makes it a really therapeutic thing to play. Dark Souls has hands down the best boss fights I've seen in video games. It's really because the bosses seem so epic and are definitely equal to you, if not superior. They have a steep learning curve, you have to learn how to beat them. They have cool art designs, and the music is very epic. While you're fighting them, it feels like an epic duel, and that's why I love them. When I played something like The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword and I was fighting bosses, I felt disappointed because the enemies did not look menacing, they didn't look like a threat. I felt like I could easily defeat them with ease. Dark Souls does the exact opposite. Dark Souls is definitely one of my favorite games. It is truly a classic. The game was very well made. It's so intricate. It is great. And I reviewed it because I want to give my first 5 out of 5. So yes, Dark Souls is a 5 out of 5. And it is, right now, the best video game ever made. Next episode, I'm going to be reviewing the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. 
will I be able to finish it in a fast period of time? Probably not, because it's a long game. But anyways, find out next week on the Crusade for Best Video Game Ever Made.